Hello, good morning, dear ladies. My name is Ryan Wilkinson. Welcome to my channel, Treats and Dalton Six. We're treating that with love. Treats and Dalton Six is love. Anyways, in this year's video here, this is part three of my scan on those Balcast uh, booster box opening. There's 36 packets in total, I'm doing it in three parts. So 12 threes are 36, 12 in each. And here's all the packets right here. Here's the artwork, in case you're wondering. Each packet that is Pop Fizz, that is Jet Fack. And I think it's Eruptor. In case you're wondering, you can't actually play these on anymore, so you just download the rules offline and you basically just play them so you can. Obviously, with the physical card, because before you would have got the cards and then just scanned them to play with them online. There's four types of cards scan on this, which is your characters. You basically have relics, gear, and spell. You mostly get spell. I don't really, I don't really understand. Maybe you could read online the, the big difference between the relic, the spell, and the what calls their cards relic, spell, and gear cards. Because they mostly seem to be quite alike. <clears throat> In terms of the rarity, there's four different types of rarity. So I'll say gray. Okay, focus is a bit better. I was saying yesterday was really bad for the focus. Uh, so I'll try and hold it a bit closer. Goody bag. So that's basically your common tree wrecked. Seems like it's going blurry from time to time. Tree wrecked, grip shot, rock roll. It's really weird the way they do it. Like if you can see, like if we can see like that there, where it's purple. So they do the legendary before the bar. Unless I'm pretty sure the blue is the rare like. I was going to say uh, maybe the purple's the rare, but I'm pretty sure the blue would be the rare. Soda Fountain, uh, Slow Burn, and Fuel for the Fire. What I think actually is, is like, wait, did I skip a quarter? Oh, yeah, I did. And a Skylander, Stormblade. I'll hold it back a wee bit more so you can see. I was saying, because the way I'm recording this here with a webcam, I don't want it to be cutting off. It's weird like the way they do it in each pack. So like in each pack, whenever you flick through, you'll get your uh, purple. And behind the purple, you'll have two blues. But I'm pretty sure the blues would be the rare. So in terms of color, like from like lowest to high, so it'd be gray, then blue, then purple, then gold. Hopefully I'm not getting it wrong, like I'm pretty sure I'm not like. Cause usually like I say, if you play a Call of Duty and you're going for like, let's say, Supply drops, for instance, in Modern Warfare Remastered, uh, blue would be rare, and then the highest, well, the higher rarity, which I think is the highest in the game. Actually, no, it's not. It would be like grey, then blue, then gold. No, grey, then blue, blue, then purple, then gold. Come on, focus. I was doing this for yesterday. Let me see if I change the card, it might actually focus. Yeah, I've done that yesterday as well. It's kind of weird. That's just a tip for you if you ever can't get anything to focus on card opens. Top and sub. Jackpot, Azurite, Weller, Fan, Tree Party, Prophetic Pick, so you get two of them are blues, Tiny Twister, They're probably going to have more spell cards than anything, Tiny Twister, and Shuff, oh yeah, and Archeon, Disc Fan, I can't remember how I pronounce that. I've heard of Pokemon, you get like, what, like 10 or 11 cards apart, and this year's going to be like 8. Let me know in the comment section below if you've actually ever played this game before, I haven't played it before. I was mean to play for like, yeah, does these cards only come out like two years ago? Because you wonder how much I paid for them. Uh, 72 packets, two booster boxes for £10, which is a really good price. Mad Energy. Sucks to be you. What do I keep getting that card for, man? I think it must be telling me that it sucks to be me. Trickster's Trap. Flashwing. Thor is an Epic. I think in terms of Pokemon, you usually end up getting like, your standard rarity, your like common on common rarity, and like maybe you have a couple of packs of the EX. These are like epic cards, seem to be like really uh, rare to get. So it's a Skylander Flash Ring, which is kind of cool. Shield Lattice. Until your next turn, give each enemy minus 20 spell damage while Flash Ring is active. That's the attack, I think. That's like Earth type, and then there's the health. Be interesting to play this at some point. Alluring Charm. I want to see if I don't know if close there. I think you can actually read these cards very well anyway. Whirl and Swirl. So that there one there. Let me see. Do we still... Mm. 
I think if you get a gold card, you don't get a purple card. Ob's Wand, that's how it's pronounced, and Sparrow, of course. The spells are like the more common cards I noticed <coughs> out of all of them. I think there's only like probably 10 or even 15 to 20 like Scalander's in this year. There's 170 cards in total in case you're wondering how many there actually is. I don't know how many I've actually got. I don't know if we'll open up a North Booster box in the future, maybe a year from now or a few months down the line. I haven't uh, decided yet. So it's just like pack number 5 or something. Mind blowing. Maybe your mind will be blown watching this year's video. Actually it's mind blowing instead of mind blowing. Impending Doom. Feel my pain. See, there's a legendary. So I'm pretty sure if you get a legendary, you won't get an epic. And then there's your rare, the blue ones. Put a gun on it. Tidal wave. Sharp sparks. Trigger happy. And hex two scanners on there. So it was basically like a saying as a. The probably pop up just like some point through the video. The point would want to start them on the copy through the card so you can like check the watch parts one and two. You can watch them any orders and have to be in a specific order at all. I yeah, just do that there. Maybe it was too fast for it. So where do I do that? Yeah, it's focusing. This takes while it's going on. Energize. Burning rubber. On full launch. Wow, imagine that'd be worse than snowballs coming down out there. Ice storm. I'd say legendary. Mute each enemy. Snare each enemy with 200 or less health. Subdue each enemy with 100 or less health. Cutting ahead. Strafing run. Kunman took like a strafing run, Call of Duty. An earth strike. Surprise attack. It's a surprise attack. Surprise attack. Aha. See them there. Sky Lithium Surge. If you're planning on buying each year yourself, like on the eBay or Amazon, I'm not sure if Amazon has them, probably does. Depending on what country you live in, but probably sold worldwide, like you might be able to pick them up easily. Well, hopefully. Lightning Claw Stance. Eon's Might. Thought Theft, but there's a legendary one. Gain copies of three non character spells from the enemy deck. Town Gollum Hub. Looks like he's chugging away there. My father's hammer. Unstop a bowler. Morley birds. And sparrow again. <clears throat> Have a few of him. I wanna see what I actually get in each pack like in terms of like uh, each category, so I'll count them in this here pack here. Leafy grains, let me see, it's a spell card. I can just do this here. Yeah, now it focuses. Leafy grains, which is a spell, chromatic bobble. Just gonna hold it a bit closer. And if it cuts off the top of cards, I'm gonna read it. There's a shiny there, it's our first actual shiny. It's really weird, like the shinies can just be like any sort of card. You might be able to see the shinies that well in this here. I was saying put one card. Back to your roots. Now there's a legendary one. Orbital Strike. Metamorphosis. Or Morphosis. So that's how it's pronounced. Sparrow again. And Amulet of Healing. So let's see how many we get in each pack here. I'm just going to count. Uh, so in terms of Skylanders, we got one Skylander. One, two, three. Four, five spells, one sky on there, five spells, and two gears. I think relics are probably the most like uh, rare ones to get out of each of the four categories. I'll count these ones here. I'm just really curious what you get in each pack. That's basically just this here. If you're reading a different language, I actually don't know if we can read that. That's in English. Uh, it says, I think it's US flag or US, uh, UK, Union Jack, and France, French, and there's uh, it's Dutch, German, and Italian. 
or no, I think I want their Spanish, then that there's German, then that there's one that pop is a Tyron Balacost.com. Let's go on that website if you want to know more info about the game. I'm just going to do this here so it moves. Right, sweet. A uh, can of kelp rummage. Mood ring, I have quite a few of these now. Splinter and Gale and Epic Card. I'm not too sure the ratio is, maybe one every four cards or four packs from Splinter and so it's like basically like two, so we've got like four packs left, so maybe we'll get like another. This is our, maybe our second or third in this year opening of the Epics. Draw three cards, slice each front line enemy for 10 damage for each energy. Those cards cost a spell card, Splinter and Gale. Food Fight. Shiny card, go shiny. It's pretty nice looking. Actually, it's really nice looking to be honest. Fruits and veggies restore 10 health to a random ally. Shoot a random enemy for 10 damage. It looks really nice. Like the health is gold as well, and the damage. Pretty nice. I'm pretty sure I have this card, but having this is shiny. Splish splash. Tangled kelp. So that it's annoying to see the way I'm recording this or the way the webcam is tilted up. So like me holding a card straight. If I hold a card straight, it looks like that. But if I tilt it forward a bit, it looks like it's held up straight. So we actually got a shiny out there pack. So we got in terms of spell or in terms of cards, we got one, two, three. That's actually a Skylander food fight. One, two, three, four, five, six, six spells, one gear, and one. It's a rare and it's a gold. Card which looks very nice. I'm gonna check online and see like, how rare these cards are actually are in terms of shiny. You never know, maybe like the shiny, like commons or uncommons. Well, the shiny commons or rares, or even the shiny legendaries could be like worth more than the actual, like standard non shiny regular epic cards. Oh, they're probably shiny to be like rare. Blades of Glory or Blades of Gory. Uh, Blades of Gory, you get it. I like whenever they do this here, like certain stuff, like they bring out new like merchandise. The thing about it this way, Yu Yu was always a card game right before the start in Pokemon became a card game. And you have like Dragon Ball Z card game, a World of Warcraft card game, and there's a card fight fan card where it basically says it in the name card, which I haven't checked that out really yet, maybe in the future. But I like to check out the World of Warcraft card at some point and the Dragon Ball Z ones. Blades of Gore, Abra, Castabra. Fire hose that there's a legendary. Ignite the active enemy for 30 damage. If it's KO this turn, return fire hose to your hand. Mobile generator. Suction abduction. Hog of war. Abra kaboom. Juice box. That's actually really weird, like as well. Here's your wondering. I'm actually have it like you're basically seeing this here. It's actually a trolley. You have like. I want it to basically be high up, you see, whenever it records, so it's a lot easier for me. I do need to get a computer desk. That's the thing, though, the rally cards are pretty rare. I haven't got one yet. There's another two packs after this one here. Whiplash, Bash. I think they're just trying to have cheesy rhymes. Come on, focus. If I do this here, hopefully, we'll focus. Anytime today, now it'll be great, yet, you know. You can actually see the cards, but it's just like not even focusing that great. I really don't understand why it's doing this, it's like really in my head. Come on, would you please focus today? Especially when you're near the end, we're near the end of the video as well. It's just like, oh yeah, finally. Unless it's a good light, light in or something. I can see in there. Whiplash, Bash, Shark Attack, Chalk Albatross, Ruler Brawl. Don't have that one yet. It's actually pretty good. Fearsome, fearsome Charge, Bash, a frontline enemy for 10 damage. Ruler Brawl swap this turn, Bash, for 40 damage instead. I think the way the game actually works is if you want to use like Ruler Brawl and you want to like, use it. Like, gear cards, relic and spell cards. I think the way it basically I think the way like it basically uh works is let's say you want to like, use your in your deck then you have to basically use like a spell card 
for instance, like there's Crusher. So you're gonna use a him, then you have like use a spell card basically has him on the actual like picture up there, I think. I read something like that there. I can't really remember though. Trial by fire, noxious fire brand, too hot to handle. I am too hot to handle. But I was like briefly like reading the rules about I know about a week or two ago. I can't really remember them. I will play this game with my at some point to try it out. I'm not really wasting much money on these cards considering I got them from next album. I think the retail for about three pound each back in the day, and they're only like what probably two years old of even. Amplifier, first aid. <gasps> cool. See, it's a gold and it's a common card. What last bash? We've had that before multiple times. Bash the active enemy for forty damage if it swap this turn, bash it for 100 damage instead, so basically means you're swapping cards in and out it's actually a really nice looking card as well you just hold it like there, so you probably will see the shineless but it's gold looks pretty nice auto fire nightshade oil, that's a pretty cool looking card stealth elf, so I think you have to use this here in your deck with stealth elf until the end of your next turn, give stealth elf 20 plus 20 power so if you don't have stealth elf in your deck, don't put this card in your deck Owner can swap an extra time each turn. Nitro tank, healing elixir. I do quite like card games. Mind reader, I'm curious. Like, if you comment in this your video, what you guys like playing? Obviously, everyone's gonna like Pokemon Yu-Gi-Oh. There's nothing else. It's like on comic Skylanders, World of Warcraft, Dragon Ball Z, Cardfight Vanguard. There's a Final Fantasy card game or Salva card game, I think. And there is also there's other stuff as well. Can I think off the top of my head though? If it actually focuses again, hopefully it focuses if I switch the cards in now. That's not why it takes forever to focus. Uh -huh. There it is. Bing Barrage, Torch Nato, starting from Scrap, Power Surge, Dragon Circuit, Short Circuit, Noxious Firebrand. Trial by far. The really annoying thing as well is he may have opened up these here, basically twelve uh car or twelve packets, eight cards a packet, that's basically ninety six in total. So in total I've opened up like nine threes or twenty seven. Uh, almost three hundred cards like the past couple of days. And the really annoying thing is as well, these are cards is like the way you have like your different categories. So it's mostly gonna be all spell. There's a, this is actually a gear card though, by the way. So there's a gear card. There's a spell card. Here is a Skylander card. I don't think we actually pulled a single rally card at all. The rally cards, like I'm saying, it's just like all like your Skylanders are for attack, and then that's basically like offense and defense, or maybe defense. I'm not entirely 100 sure with the actual rules. The thing is with the rally cards, like you don't really seem to like pull many of them, like which is really weird. In terms of like 270 cards, it must only be like something like 10 rally cards or maybe 20 rally cards, if even, like in the whole set. I really don't know. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, thank you for watching. There'll be links to my gaming channel in the description below, and also my gaming community channel. So be sure to check them out if you're into your games. Anyways, as always, thank you for watching. Are you better?